I have some kinks that I want to like share with you so we can like do these things. I'm okay, and they're like, I have a foot pedal. Well, hello, hello, hello. Hello there. God damn it. <laughs> well played. Um, welcome, everybody. It is Tuesday. Uh, halfway through my week. I actually have Friday off. I'm very excited. It's four-day weekend with the silly Monday holiday in the States. <clears throat> but I'll take it. Uh, so I have a feeling that tonight's going to be a quick stream. Um... I have some work that I have to get to, and I really don't want to stay up as late as I did last night. I won't go there, but it was late. Um, and I think with most of these Chilla Arts games, usually I can squeeze one in about an hour or so. Uh, so, considering it's already 10.30, it's a little delayed start tonight. Uh, I'll probably just play it, you know, unless it's like a 10 minute game or some shit. Um, we'll play it by ear, but it's probably going to be an earlier stream, um, so we'll read up to somebody else, um, and then I will look to be back tomorrow night. I think I'm going to start doing Wednesday nights after D&D, because &D, uh, we usually finish up around 9.30 now, versus 10 o'clock. It's, uh, someone in the party has to leave to go work an overnight job, which sucks, but, um, he typically has to leave by 9.30. And we're usually, like, doing very little after that and probably just shooting the shit. So I figured it would probably work for me to, like, make that an official, like, I'm streaming on Wednesdays unless otherwise noted. Um, and I think I'm going to do the same with another weeknight. And then either Saturday or Sunday, given on what's going on that week. And it's going to be probably three nights a week we'll be streaming and that's probably going to be it. 
um, just because I kind of need more time to catch up on all this fucking video editing I haven't done yet. Um, and, and the backlog of horror games is never going to go dry. So we're not in a rush to get through these. Uh, so I think that's going to be the plan. I don't know the exact specifics yet, but as soon as I have a legitimate schedule written in stone, um, obviously everyone will know whether you're a Discord, Twitter follower, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but yeah, uh, it, it'll definitely be on here um, in the About section below. There'll be a schedule panel down there somewhere. I'm going to probably redo a lot of the stuff down there too. It's a lot of words and a lot of just mumbo jumbo down there i gotta simplify it just some little face lifting i'd like to do uh especially with jugtober uh looming on the horizon so without further ado for those that are here early tonight is a beer that i was not very thrilled about because at first i looked at it i'm like this sounds great i purchased it got home and reread it and was like oh that says imperial in front of it this is the shandy beach from night shift it is an Imperial Shandy with Lemonade. That's right. You read it right. Imperial. Kind of blurry, sorry. But um, the lemon flavor is there. But it's just, I think it's a little too, too much for a Shandy. Either way, cheers. Yeah, it's got all the flavor. It just, there's a little bit of a punch there. And I think this is like eight and a half percent or something. <laughs> Usually shandies are half of that. Four to four and a half. I digress. All right, so for Chiller's Arts, because we have quite a few games of theirs left to play, um... We're going to start with The Caregiver. Uh, I feel like this one, you're in a house with an older person and you're looking after them and there's something weird going on about them. There's something, I feel like I've seen gameplay of it. Um, but there's really only one way to find out. Let's hop on in. Oh, now you want to work. I was actually going to do a display capture, not a game capture. Oh, yeah, this is... This is rough. I don't know if I can, uh... I don't know how well this is going to work. Because I'm kind of worried that... Um... I can't change any options. And did the game just freeze? What's going... Oh, okay. Tomita Sashi. So, yeah, it's... Oh, God. It's already kind of jumpy. Um... Is, is there oh there's options okay Whew. give me one second uh yeah every v bank <laughs> there it is thank you disable shadows and that's texture quality as low as it can get let's apply it back resume return turn turn do 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 and do this and it's looking pretty good great awesome jesus fuck hello okay some vending machines i can't use i guess i'll just uh leave i don't know where i am God. what is this Is tab like a pause or something? That's weird. Hmm. It's kind of foggy in here too. Like, is this a, is this a flashback or a repressed memory of some sort? Okay, so this is a dead end. I can kind of see my hands. That's interesting. Oh, hi. Heading out? 
Yes. But to su- Sushi's? Su- Suchi? I just got a call from his daughter to come over. Said it was some sort of emergency. All right. It's already late. Just get everything you need now and go home after you get the job done. I'll let the boss know. Thanks, Wazako. Oh, and wake Naomi up before you leave. She's sleeping in the break room again. Again? She's a hard worker. Oh, and did you know? Know what? I found this while I was running a little background check of her. I heard she was thrown away. Ooh, and left in a tunnel in the middle of a forest when she was born. Is that a reference to, like, the Inunaki tunnel? That's one of the games we need to play. I don't know. We'll find out. She was eventually found, though, by a couple of urban explorers. The police couldn't find who the child was or where she came from. That's crazy. Yeah. I couldn't believe my eyes. Luckily, she was very soon adopted by a welcoming family. I can see that. Look where she is now. A kind-hearted individual taking her job seriously every day. Yeah, and she's a really nice girl. But she seems off sometimes. Is it just me? Off? Yeah. She's kind of emotionless sometimes. Remember, like, even when a patient passed away, she... Hmm. Let's not talk bad behind someone's back, Rosako. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, Rosako. Let me go wake up my friend. I missed it the first thing again. What does it say? No, we're sleeping again. Oh, okay. So we, we won't actually try to wake her up. That's up to Naomi here. So, okay, do I have to grab anything? I don't think so, but... Figured I'd check. Oh, okay. It's not like that door opened. I was like, what? I need to prepare before I leave. What am I preparing for? Like, what am I... Is there something in here I'm supposed to be grabbing? Oh, right here. My bag. It's time. I better hurry. Alright, let's go. Let's sprint. This dark already? Uh, yeah. It's late. Is this my car? No? Where's my fucking car? Am I just walking down the street to this person's house with no sense of direction? Or map or anything? Probably. No, I can't walk into the street. This is not the right way. Toki Nursing Home has got an achievement. This isn't it, is it? No. Okay. Ah. I'm not too sure where I'm supposed to be going. Can't cross the road. Guess we'll just run in this direction for a while. Very uh, overcast and bleak night this evening, for sure. Must be this way. Keep following the lights. I thought it was a person. It's a fucking tree root. Jesus. Demon, what's up, bud? <laughs> Walk him in. Okay, so it's this way. Still don't know where the hell I'm going. Is this it? Must be it. Mailbox. There's no mail. Hello? Hmm, maybe they're busy. I'm gonna go in, okay? Take your shoes off. The house. Oh, it's kind of messy. Hmm. It's 
quite messy in here. Quite hoarder-esque, if you will. Can't open anything. Okay. Let's go through here, I guess. What is this smell? What's that? Folded cloth? Okay. It won't open. There's a plank that's stuck. Oh, that's weird. What a mess. Oh! Look at that. Okay, that's the bathroom. Ah! I thought that was a ladder. It's like a shadow of a ladder. <laughs> Weird. What the hell is that thing? This just cuts right through. No doors over here. Anything you can grab? Oh, yep. Some type of card. <laughs> Trading card. <laughs> Chilling and freezing? Wow. I'm going to bed early tonight. I hope you have a good stream. This already looks creepy. Thank you, Fry. I hope you have a good night's sleep tonight. For sure. I probably need one, too, to be honest. <laughs> Let's try going out back. I can't go outside. What the hell am I missing? Did this room already. That's, like... Bunked up. That goes there. Oh, what about this way? Where did you just come from? You were not here a second ago. Ah, uh, Suchi san. Don't scare me like that. Why didn't you say anything? What happened to your family members? Are they all out? Hey, she's pissing herself, it looks like. Are you okay, Suchi-san? Urine. Even after years of doing this job, I still can't get you something like this. I need something to wipe it off. Don't I have... Yeah. Damn, the new trading card game. <laughs> Suchi-san? Damn, you look old as fuck. <laughs> Alright, so what should, I, what should I be doing here? Just exploring the house? That part of the house is already closed down. Why did the camera post back like that? She moved again. Oh, this unlocked. Huh. Man, all these rooms are so fucking messy. Get rid of trash. Okay, so we can get upstairs now. Uh, I'm doing pretty good, Demon. Not too bad. That smell again. It's getting stronger. How have you been? I know you said you were just cold. I can't believe you're cold. I mean, it was like fucking 80 degrees here today. What did I just do? Was this a good thing to open this door? What the fuck? Who the fuck's behind me? What just happened? The next day, Kuramoto Naomi. Mm. Now we're the girl that was sleeping. The bed's next to a vent. Ah, gotcha. Alright, cool. So. Now we're this girl, who was sleeping in here earlier. 
And our co-worker went to that house and looks like she's probably dead at this point. Hey, Naomi. What's wrong, senpai? There's a grandpa I want you to take care of. Hmm, who could that be? It's Sushi. Sachi-chan can't be in charge from anymore, so can you go in her steed? Stead? <laughs> steed. Sure thing, but what happened to Sachi-san? Oh, don't worry. It's probably about a relationship. She does this time to time. She isn't getting younger, you know. Including myself, that is. Ha ha. Hmm. Anyhow, Sushi needs you. Um, do you think I'll be fine? I've never been to a patient's house by myself. Well, we're short on people. I know it's hard, but we have to do our best and go with what we have. I left this information on your desk. All right, I'll do my best. <clears throat> All right, so I bet you I have to go back into this room. Yep. So, he's 83, 56 kilos, 170 centimeters, low blood sugar, feed flan on two meals a day, relaxes when bathing, should bathe every day, strong dislike for getting out of home, ask for reasons, very forgetful as of late, watch for symptoms of dementia, comment, occasional discomfort, signs of frustration and pain, prescribe opiates if necessary. Oof. I guess I don't have to take it. Okay. Oh, we're not gonna take it. I'm not ready yet. Why? The fuck didn't I get? Do I have a bag? Oh, there's something in my backpack. Okay. That bet you I can take it. Or not. I just said I need the backpack, that's all. Excuse you. The door's closing on timers. What the fuck? Let's go. Alright, well now I know where that house is. It's way up over there. Ooh. Okay, so... Curious if we're gonna see our friend again. Our co-worker. That is. Or if she's basically just missing... Although it's weird, it sounds like she almost called in sick, the way that she was responding. Hi? You have a good soul. Huh? You really do. I can feel it from years of being a monk. Well, I haven't done much in life yet. It does not matter. I see that you follow the way. Visit our temple sometime. With the level of conscience you have, you should feel at home. Okay, I'll think about it. Please do. Where the fuck's your temple, dog? You give me instructions? Directions? Anything? No? I don't fucking know where your temple is. Either way, I gotta go to work. <laughs> so curious. I wonder... So I wonder if the grandpa there saw everything. He was so scared. That's why... Excuse me, that's why he pissed himself. I guess it could be that. Anyone home? Looks like it's open. No mail. That's tea in the kitchen. Ah. Jesus. Who's been so busy in here? They forgot to fucking... Watch out for what they're doing. Rusted tin box. Seems like a key won't fit from the rust. Okay. Well, that's a secret item for later. Oh, yeah, there's a plank stuck in the way. I forgot about that. Nothing, nothing in here. Not by the window, but there's a flashlight. Ah. There was something here. Yeah, a ladder. Tell you, I knew that already. Where the fuck is the ladder? Oh, God. Hello, Suchi-san. How are you? I'm Naomi. Sachi has been very busy lately. I'll be taking care of you from now on. Jesus. 
Jesus. It was loud as fuck. What are we looking at here? Is that a bird? Or there's something in his mouth. A paper clip. Paypolish. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, bud. Uh, I gotta get outside because I can't fucking open the door here. I'm not going upstairs first. That caused a problem last time with the other girl. Let's see, would they let me go outside? Or is the door going to magically be locked now? Okay, good. Also, where the fuck is my flashlight? Oh, there it is. Love the dead bird vibes. <laughs> That paper clip. I guess I'll check out back. I bet the paper clip is for that box. There's a little shed back here. Maybe there's a key somewhere to the shed. Okay. Good to know. Rusted out fucking van. Windows open. I can see that the plank is blocking the bathroom door. I need to find something that can budge it down. And it's too high for me, so I need something to step on as well. Okay. Oh, there's the ladder. I wanted to take it down. Yeah, probably. So random. Okay. I wish there was a way. I oh, I can. Okay. So the paper clip should go here. What do we got? Shed key. Let's go. To the shed. What's the hot sauce channel points thing? Click it and find out. <coughs> Why is it so low? I thought I changed all of them and fixed them. God damn it. Um, I'll have to go through those later, but I'm pretty sure I cha I fixed, like, the location of them on the screen. That one's supposed to be a little bit higher than that. Can't see well in the dark. Pick up the tool? That's a tool? What is it? Oh, to probably to lift the ladder up, I bet. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Do I use it to... No. Try to get the ladder. There we go. Now I've got the ladder. Can't sprint because probably because the ladder's on me. Interesting. I think I like that concept. All right. Ladder's back in place. Yep. Climb up into the attic. What could go wrong here? Oh. 
This is fucking bad. There's more shit up here than I thought there was going to be. Another mysterious card. Wow. Okay. Ah, stool. Super helpful. And then maybe I could still use this tool to budge the bathroom door open. Cool. We got out of that attic as fast as possible. That went very well. Probably everything goes wrong. Oh, yeah, of course. I don't know why I can't open that door, though. That's really stupid. All right. Let us return... Uh, excuse me. To the backyard. Okay. Bruh. Jesus. Yo, Cornhusk, what up? I keep... Finally got me back, I see. <laughs> We're just playing, um... <laughs> playing a ch some Chilla's games. Chilla's arts games, rather. Um... And we're starting off with the caretaker. And so far it is uh, quite interesting. Why can I not? Oh, I probably have to have the thing like that and this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay, cool. That actually worked. That tool solved two different puzzles. Look at that recycling. Come on. There we go. Now I can go... Take a leak, I guess. Who was that? Was that was that our girl? Yes, this game. Well, this game. <laughs> yeah, I've played a lot of uh, the Chilla Arts games, but I haven't played this one yet, and I've heard good things about it. But man. Where the hell did they just go? Oh my god, that bath looks disgusting. Can't do anything about it. There's literally nothing in here for me to do. I just unlocked this just so we can get to a bathroom. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> we got a toilet right there. So Cornhusk, how you been my friend? What you been up to? What the fuck is you doing outside? Jesus criminy. Yo, you can't be out here. What are you doing? Suchi? Let's get you inside. I love them. It's the fact you never know what you're getting into with their games. That's very true. Did you have to knock a thousand fucking times? What an asshole. Jesus. Not like I've had better days. Today's just not one of them. Uh, it fucking blows, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully your tomorrow goes a lot better. Sorry to bother you. I received a package just now. I'm going to leave it on the kitchen table, okay? He seems to really care. Place package. Okay. Real quick. Um, so we don't, I, I, for anyone that doesn't know the great corn husk show, I highly, 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 highly recommend checking this guy out. He, uh, fantastic horror streamer, uh, quite the vocalist makes quite some songs. Um, super fun stream to be a part of. God damn it. Jump, 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 jump. Get your butt up. Oh my God. Get up, get up. Oh my god! Jump! Oh shit! Oh my god! Why is this so hard? Happy's. Good old Happy's humble. So good. All 
All right, let me go check him in the bath again. Okay. Take him to bed? Yes. Of course, of course. As if I was going to give you a shout out. I appreciate you. The fuck is that noise? What the fuck? Who's that over there? That game hated me. <laughs> that, uh, that's it. It was an interesting game for sure. Hey, what's up? Hey, Risako san. What's up? About Suchi. There's something wrong about his family. None of his family members were home. I feel very uneasy about it. I was wondering if Sachi-san knows anything. Hmm. Want to take a look at her work diary? Yes. That would help. Oh, and she's taking a sick leave again. Maybe you can visit her. See if she's doing okay. It's kind of aggressive. Um. Yo, shoes! Welcome in, bud. How you doing? <laughs> Pardon me. I'm just playing some Chilla Arts games. Playing the caregiver for now. Maybe we'll jump into another one if this is a short one, but we'll see. Where the fuck is your work diary? I figured it'd be on her quote-unquote desk, but no. There's going to be something around here somewhere. What the? Alright. You need to tell me where it is? front desk okay thanks could have told me that the first fucking time okay there it is day one just normal day at Suchi's there's one thing that bothered me the house kind of smells where's it coming from I sure to get rid of the stench tomorrow day two I didn't know Suchi suffers dementia he doesn't talk much if not at all this is odd. He was fine yesterday. Maybe his symptoms are starting to show now. I pray he'll be okay. Day three. His family members were supposed to be at home today. They called us last minute that they can't make it. It's just Suchi at home today. I really wish they'd let us know sooner. Oh well, I shouldn't complain. I tried taking out the trash again and used the air freshener. Nothing seems to work. The house still reeks of something rotten. Ugh. Day four. When I arrived today, Suchi wasn't at home. Turns out he was lying on the ground outside. What's going on? I was here scratching of walls and bangs on ceilings. I tried checking where the sounds were coming from. Nothing's there. Ugh, the smell again. Just, just can't put my finger on where the smell is coming from. Everything about that house is driving me insane. Day 5. The room on the second floor. What was that? Grandma? Why are you here? What are you doing? It can't be real, right? I feel cold. Maybe I'm just sick. I shouldn't go to work tomorrow. How far am I in the game? Not very far. I've only been playing for like a half an hour. What happened to Suchi? Something's wrong with Sachi-san. I have to go visit her. I can go now. From what I heard, she lives nearby. Okay, well, that doesn't really fucking help, but okay. Now, from what I remember, Sachi-san lives nearby. She should be living in the tallest apartment building in this area. Well, I can't really see height in this. Oh, it must be that over there. Can't cross the street here. Oh, I can cross the street. Mm, I get it. Ooh, nope. Yeah, it must be this building right here. How many subs for another Cuphead stream? Um, I haven't really put any thought into it yet, but I am going to do another raid stream at some point. I just haven't really got around to it. I won't let you pass. Um, do I know you? No. So does that mean I can pass? No. You have the same uniform as the girl who lives here. That means I can't let you pass. Why? I don't even live here. It doesn't matter. You have to win in a game of rock, paper, scissors. Then I'll let you pass. Huh? Rock, paper, scissors, are you kidding? Shut up and listen. Or I won't let you pass. Alright, fine. What? Well, yo. Are we playing rock, paper, scissors, or you want to fucking throw down? Here we go. Rock, 
paper, scissors. Shoot. Uh, always go rock first. What? Ha, huh, too easy. Can't let you pass then. Um, I'll do paper. What? Do I have to, like, choose scissors? Ah, I lost. Okay, you're pretty strong. Uh, however, you really thought I'd let you pass just a game of rock, paper, scissors? See you again, loser. But you sit... All I need is one thing. I know you lot have them. I know you do. Have what? Bring me the drug. The drug? Stop playing dumb. I've been getting it from your friend. But she's acting weird lately and won't give me the damn thing. It runs off like a psychopath. You say that? Bring me the drug. And I'll let you pass. Oh. God damn it. So I have to go steal a drug from work now. Beat the DLC stream. Same with the rock, rock, rock combo. I'm Jock. <laughs> Not a terrible idea. Gonna hit him with some fucking nose candy, apparently. Some booger sugar, if you will. Alright. Where would the drugs be? She's still in there? Oh. This is like a workstation area. There won't be drugs just sitting out here. Nope, there would be. It's morphine. Jesus. Guy's fucking taking morphine like it's no big deal. Jesus. Boy needs some help. So I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed that uh, we're at 461 followers. We have 39 to go until 500, which is a huge milestone. And then, of course, I got to do spicy gummy bear bullshit, but it's worth it. All right, Bob. Ah, uh, yes, this, this. Scarlet Blur. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the mob. How did you find us here today? Out of curiosity, was it through a social media post? Uh, featured? Recommended? Something? I always like to learn how new friends find their way here out of all the channels on Twitch. Enter apartment. Yes. Ah, channel 13 hard. Yes. Lo Dude has no armpits. You're right. Uh, yeah, I love Channel 13 Horror. I don't need to go there right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big big fan of Channel 13 Horror's work for sure. Um, and it, it's it came at a good time too because I was featured quite a bit in seeing TBD videos on YouTube, but um, he's been he's been doing like. You know, regular life stuff and not not being able to do the YouTube life, which completely get that. So it's nice to have some uh, another channel kind of picking up the slack there. Because regardless if I'm in the videos or not, the videos are fucking great. So funny. Okay, buzzer it or something? Like, what am I doing here? Is that not her door? Where does she live? I should have, like, looked something somewhere. Nope. Very end. Just open the door. <laughs> hey, I love you. Just fucking help myself in. No big deal. We got here stove, mug, kettle, box of tea. Oh, I see.
going to make her some tea because I'm such a good friend. I, I think it's on. I can't really quite tell. Hey, bud. Is that your son? Are you okay? Oh, I'm okay. I just feel cold. Do you want me to get you some tea? Yeah, that would be nice. All right. Well, I already got it cooking. Oh, another card. Ooh, look at that. Mug of tea. Here you go, Sachi. So this game's about, like, these caretakers taking care of a family. This one sitting here, she went at the start of the game and saw, like, the grandmother, like, eating somebody or something. And then someone else was behind her. But you couldn't see who it was. And then it cut out. Uh, I refuse to believe Oasis is a real band. They're a parody that got big. You're not wrong. I need to get the push-up stream doing sooner or later. Nice. They asked the hard-hitting questions, though. <laughs> Where were you when we were getting high? Um, drinking coffee or tea. Are you all right now? So cold. Don't worry. I think I just caught a cold. Hey, Sachi san. So I came here to ask you something. I read your work notes and what happened to Suchi's? And what happened to his family? Why? Why? Why what? Why? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention. It's because I'm in charge of taking care of him now. Get out. Get out. I don't want to get involved anymore. Oh, it's going to repeat the same thing. La 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 la. Okay, well, we'll I'll just leave then. Have a lovely, uh, lovely day. Is this one of them scary video games? Yes, yes it is, sir. Yeah, it's going to be a flashlight out. the fuck was that? Oh, shit. I didn't see that coming. Yikes, that is, that's not good. All right, let's go talk. To oh, she, she jumped from the second story and landed face first. She's, she's gone. That scream was me after Taco Bell. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. I apologize for all the drop frames tonight, by the way. It says it's 3%, and that's kind of a lot if you ask me. Um, I do the Suchis. What is this feeling? I feel like I should hurry. I don't really want Taco Bell. I haven't had Taco Bell in so long. Or go to Sonic to get a bag of corn dogs. Just for me and disconnected. <laughs> Sonic. I see that monk's not outside anymore. Fucking shock and awe. Also, where's his temple? He said, come to the temple. Come, come to the Sabbath. And like, I don't know what is his address. I don't know where he fucking, where the temple is. Oh, Jesus. I didn't realize you're dropping frames. Oh, that's good. It's, it's happening very infrequently now. Um, just because there's no option screen at the main menu. I actually had to hit escape and go to the options here. And then handle it. Minecraft noises intensify. Huh. Oh, the bacon cheeseburger toast is the literal best. Nice. No mail today. Why did the rain get louder when I got in? What is this madness? 
It's this madness. The package is open. Take what's inside? Yeah, what is it? You only had Sonic once? Carjack crank? Oh, let's go out back then, because there's a car back there. Well, what used to be a car. Why is this not working? There's two spots I can put stuff on, apparently. This ain't working. Put it on the other side here? Like, I'm clicking everything. Oh, now I'm stuck. I probably wasn't supposed to go over here. <laughs> oh, no. There's no jump button. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, there's something right there. But I don't know why I can't. Hmm. Maybe I have to do something else first. We'll go walk around inside. I'm sure I'll find something else. I prefer kinetic stands. <laughs> Damn it. No, it's not in the tub. Is it in the shitter? Nope. Oh, Grandpapa! Oh, good, the ladder's still there. Could have been weird if it wasn't. Grandpapa! It's not here. Grandpapa! Where's this old bastard? Hello? I just heard a rat. Rip the mattress? Yes. With what? I don't know. Would the old man get to? I don't, I don't know. Van key. I guess that works too. Alright. Go to the van. Down by the river. Is it your Wi-Fi for dropping frames? No, my Wi-Fi is fine. Um, so what it is is this game is not really. Um, it, it's not. How do I explain it? They basically have um, not made this game super efficient for probably mid-tier PCs like mine. So, it takes a lot of resources to run, um, and therefore it's kind of... 888 trillion, 888 billion, 888 million, 888 thousand, 888... Don't remove the mattress tag, the FBI will raid your golf course. <laughs> Carjack. Alright, so where am I putting the cut? Where am I gonna put that now? I don't see a spot for it. Like, normally there's like a green dot. So this makes one big card, uh, Frank, but I can't. I don't know how to combine them because it's a car jack and then the car jack crank that you would attach into that and rotate it to lift it up. Hmm. There's no green dots or anything, so. 
Well, not too sure what to do with that. I only came down this way once. Okay. There's really nothing out of the direction. We'll go ahead inside for a bit. See if I can discern some more from this scenario. No idea where the old man went. I don't know if I should go upstairs. But I have a strong feeling to go upstairs. I'm going to die, but fuck it, let's do it. Came around that corner, and that's where it happened. What's that? Aha! Mysterious card! Yeehaw. Alright, here we are, back at this spot again. I don't like to take a peek. Rain make me sleepy. Yeah, me too. There's you owe your parents almost 700 bucks? Damn, what'd you do? Stuck, so maybe I can try to force him. To ah, okay. Wait a minute. I've got this thing in here. Oh, it wouldn't let me do it before. I'm forcing this door open was probably the best choice, but I guess that's what I need to use this for and not for the car. Alright, that's enough. That's enough. Let me take control back so I know how to run. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So misleading. You got it now. Yeah, you have to, like, press it. GMC, I didn't pay my full half for our deal. Ah, okay. What the fuck? It's a lot of blankets. Another mysterious card. Um. Bloody note. Good fortune comes beneath the floor. Crowbar. Come on in here, kill me, do it now. Come on! What is going on here? So beneath the floor, is there an area of the floor that looked like I could rip some boards up? Did I miss something? Registered footsteps. Which is concerning because the only man in here, right? The only person in here right now should be in a fucking wheelchair. And I still haven't fucking found him yet. Oh, right here. Just rip open these people's fucking nice house. Well, nice house. I'm here, kill me, do it, come on. Uh, the cards are just collectibles. Go down? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? What in the fuck? I guess I'll just stay to the right. So many little pathways here. Okay. Oh no, the birds. Not the birds. There's so many dead birds. 
I know one bird died and was smashed into the window, but I didn't realize that many birds were dead. Oh, good thing Dr. Islands isn't in here. Here's when the game takes a turn. Oh, Birdman's career. What is this? What the fuck? Did someone get burnt alive down here? Is this some type of weird ritual? Who is that? I don't like the whispering at all. The time of the deeds have been engraved to the elderly clocks. Grandfather clocks. Okay. The mother got stabbed while preparing dinner and the clock, clock struck 3.30. The girl was strangled when she was coming back from school and the clock struck 8.10. The boy got pushed down the stairs and the clock struck 5.40. The father pushed down from the window and the clock struck 11.50. The gods will aid when the timepieces align. Oh, God. So 3.30, 8.10, 5.40, and 11.50. I'm not going to remember any of that. Huge dog nose. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good night, demon. Thanks for dropping in, dude. Oh, no, it is sushi. Fuck. Burned him alive. That's sad. He was just an old man. Probably suffering from dementia. Yeah, time to get out of here. Screenshot this and think you better run. So I know there's. What are you... Oh, fuck. There's definitely clocks. Yep, here's a clock right here. Um, shit, I really should have taken a screenshot of that. I guess it depends on the, uh, the location as well. Shit. I should have listened to you, Corn. Oh my god! What the fuck is that? Oh my god! It's moving far too fast. Alright, it freezes time. Alright. Let's see. I'm gonna pull up a little notepad over here. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so, kitchen 3.30. When she was coming back from school. Girl was strangled. She was coming back from school. So maybe near the near the front. Front door? Question mark. Eight ten. The boy got pushed down the stairs, and the clock struck five forty. Uh oh, yep, yeah, I was there. Yep. Bottom of stairs. It's five forty. That was what I was just at. The father pushed down from the window, and the clock struck eleven fifty. Window eleven fifty. Top floor question mark. Okay. I'll pop those over there. I always screenshot things like that. Yeah, honestly, it's... I usually do a better job of keeping shit down like that, but for whatever reason, I was just not paying attention. I think it's because I heard that whispering and didn't know what the fuck it was. Lo and behold, this crazy bitch is here. All right, goodbye. Apparently that thing doesn't know how to use a ladder, which is fantastic, and I'm glad to hear it. But the other thing that's here... Not too thrilled about. Okay. 
So this is... Oh, Fucking Christ! Alright, so that is her. It's the same thing. Alright, kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. 3.30. What's the next one? Front door maybe is eight ten. Doors locked. So she's coming home from school. Wouldn't there be a clock near here? Oh my fuck. At least it's only one of them. In front of the clock. There's probably one upstairs. And then that one I gotta redo because I didn't get it done in time. Not there. Uh, which room is this? Which room would this be? So there's no window. Bottom of stairs. I guess it could be 810. It's either 810 or 1150. Am I safe? I don't want to turn around and try to do this. Fifty. So that was the the window. Oh, you know why? It's probably a toss down right here. Okay, so that's good. Bottom of stairs needs to be five forty, and then wherever the last one is, is whatever's what's left. So the last one is going to be 810. And that's the girl coming home from school. Yeah, you've got to loop her and buy some time. Yeah. So it's going to be 810. It's not the front door because uh, I looked. There's no clock there. Oh my fucking god. I just walked right through the fucking door. There's got to be a clock around here somewhere. Right there. Did it. Woo! Oh, and that chest opens up. Sick. What is it? Some type of talisman. I really want control back, so I'm gonna go grab it before I get stabbed. Religious dagger? Do I stab this creature? Person? Or do I use the dagger to cut the rope upstairs? Knife fight. Yeah. I don't know if that's necessarily what I need to do.
Yeah, rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. That's a good point. No, I can't use it there. It doesn't let, it doesn't tell me what I'm supposed to use that for. Like in that corner, what that's for. Where's this bitch? I've got a weapon now, asshole. Yeah, I got all the uh, I got all the clocks. I got all four of them, and I picked up this dagger. The religious dagger was in here. When I held the clocks, this chest opened up. Do I have to go into the attic again? Nope, I can't even go up there. It won't let me. Why is it a religious dagger? Ah, uh, you're telling me. I don't know. It just says it's a religious dagger. And like. If I need to bring an item someplace, normally there's a little tiny green dot on where I can apply it. But I'm not seeing any green dots anywhere. Well, I mean, that one is, but that's where I got um, a piece of the crank from for an earlier puzzle. Can I just fucking leave? Nope. Where did the... Where did this goddamn bitch go? There's a clock in the kitchen in the first room. There's a clock in the kitchen? Oh yeah, I did the kitchen. Yeah, I've done all of them. Go back to the cave. Ah, okay. I was just thinking about that too, because I've I legit run all over the place, and she's not here anymore. And we first technically would have seen her down in the cave. Oh, do I have to use the dagger on... The grandpapa. Sad. Use it on the grandpapa. Oh. He was just an old man. He was 83. Poor guy. Yeah, bring him down out of there. Let's, let's take all the silly shit off of him. Thank you, young one. Whoa. The curse didn't allow me to speak. I'm sorry I couldn't figure things out sooner. No, you did more than what I dreamed for. You gave me a chance. Now listen. The raven is after me. and using my wife to complete itself. Your wife? I thought she passed away. The raven can interact with the dead. He has coerced her soul back to this world. The condition for this summoning is for the dead to perform the ritual on the person she loved the most. You almost rage quit. <laughs> now, you must save my wife's spirit. But how? Her bone box is in the altar. It should be sealed tight with a red string. Get it out of the house and the demon will back away. Okay. Use this. It should cut through anything. You have a good soul. I trust in you. Thank you. You didn't give me anything, bud. Oh, there you go. Scissors, of course. Don't run with scissors. Take the flashlight out. I'm scared. Where is this bitch? Fuck. So she just wanted to be with you. I'm sorry. I need to go past you? 
to go cut the rope upstairs. So I'm just going to go past you now. Do not jump scare me. Thank you. Rock, paper, scissors. I fucking told you. <laughs> Fear of I still understand the logic of the last part. All I can say is run. I don't know where. Wait, I went the wrong way. And I just get out of the house with them? Oh, shit. Oh, it's, that's the raven. That's the dude that we fucking saw earlier. So he's the demon. He's actually it takes the form of a raven. What the fuck? What the fuck? No, it's getting so dark. I get it. You have to run away from this. Fucking flashbangs. <laughs> bro, bro. I think I made it. I did. So, yeah, there was like that wall of energy there, and you just had to stay in front of it. So, I just kept running away from it until I couldn't. Then I run sideways until I could run back away from it again. Bro, crow. I ran as fast as I can. Just when I ran out of breath, I saw a small, worn-out building. It's an old temple. Just looking at it made me feel its history. Oh, like the guy we talked. I looked back. The Karasu Tengu was gone. Did I lose him? I decided to enter the temple. I saw a monk chanting. Hey, it's the guy we saw outside. I was hesitant to, dis to disturb him. He must have felt my presence. He slowly turned to me and stared at the bone box as he walked. The monk spoke before letting me speak. Here, give it to me. I handed the box with a second thought. My hands are still trembling from the adrenaline. If you were a little late, the poor woman's spirit would have suffered a great deal. I was relieved. Suichi was right. It seems that his wife, Hiori, was unharmed because I took the bone box out of the house. The monk then told me to bury it in a grave before it attracts anything else. He helped me do so, and he even offered a prayer of protection for me and the couple. I also prayed. Prayed that he already was safely released, and Sushi to be as far away from the foul spirits as possible. I'm happy that Hayori finally has the chance to watch over Sushi in the other world. I guess you were supposed to walk towards the black smoke. Yeah, right, <laughs> isn't that weird? Where did the Karasu Tengu go? Is he gone for good? Either way, I have to make sure that Sushi does not go back there again. A few days have passed, and I decided to still care for Sushi. Oh, that's nice. He's a good dude. It's a nice sunny day. We're going to visit Hiori's grave today. Now that we've had our moment of peace, I can finally greet her. Oof. The, uh, that last sequence of that game got pretty crazy pretty quick. <laughs> but, uh, no, I liked it. It was definitely, I like how they do short, horror, short indie horror games. Um, each one is a completely different scenario, but equally is like, holy shit. <laughs>
He's barefoot. What's up with the whistling? Oh. What a shame. He was already gone the moment you stepped into the house. What a shame. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's fucked. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Ending. A game by Chilizart. Chilizart supporter appearances. I unfortunately cannot read those. <laughs> But they had quite a few supporter appearances, though. There's only a few characters. Umia.net. I can read that one. I like how it rained most of the time, too. Or at least was very overcasty and very bleak. It really set the tone. Highlight supporters. Brandon Workman. <laughs> I would totally support. Like, I don't know if Chilla's Art has like a Patreon or something, like what Puppet Combo has, but I would definitely probably pay into that. Um, I don't think I've played a game from Chilla's Art that I haven't liked yet. Uh, that was definitely um, a different. One from Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. Well, there you go. <laughs> I wonder if there's going to be any names here that I recognize. Because that's... The Chilla Arts game get around a lot. Yep. Gab played him. She's a, pat uh, she's a patron. Okay. Sushi Geisha Andrew K. Hubbard Haunted Hentai Oh boy <laughs> For those that are interested in supporting Patreon.com Chill is Art Alright I'll have to go check that out I'm gonna give the credits that's always really cool how there's such a good um, community on how people can like share these different like textures and models with each other and just give each other credit at the end. I think that's really cool for developers. Thank you for playing. Thank you for developing and releasing. All right, collected cards. Did I get all of them? Oh my God, did not get all of them. There is a lot of them. <laughs> There's a whole other row. There's no way there's that many. You probably have to go down these different alleyways and shit to find them. That's absurd. <laughs> That's fucking absurd. Um, but yeah. I think that is probably going to do it for tonight. Um, like I said, tonight was probably going to be a short stream. Um, basically, unfortunately, an hour and a half. But uh, I, I didn't want to get stuck in the middle of one of these games just because of the fact that they're not very long. Um, but I'm hoping tomorrow I'll be able to start right at 10, Eastern that is, and I'll be able to knock out another one of these, maybe two. Because we have three more left to go. We have the Ghost Train, we have Missing Children, and we have the Inunaki Tunnel. Thank you for being here. Uh, Corn, since you are obviously very well uh, aware of these types of games, which one of those three would you recommend? The Inu Inunaki Tunnel, Missing Children, or The Ghost Train? Just out of my own curiosity. I just wanna see what your thoughts were. Thinking it over. <laughs> um, 
So, no, so I don't think I have any news or anything to share. I do know that we are heading into the last full day of August. Um, two minutes away from it. Ghost Train is very cool. Okay. I think I'll, uh, maybe I'll start with Ghost Train tomorrow then. And then we'll do Missing Children, then the tunnel. Um, so, just a heads up to everybody. Regardless whether it's here or another channel. Um, starting, I believe, Thursday is sub. October, September, 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 where they, uh, where Twitch actually gives a discount, uh, to all Twitch subs, uh, well, except for Prime, that's a whole different scenario, but, uh, if you are ever looking to subscribe to your, you know, one of your favorite, uh, streamers, uh, ended this week and through September is the time to do it, because there's a discount on it. So you get to save yourself some money, but the cut doesn't get taken away from the streamer you're subscribing to, which is great. Yeah, indeed. Uh, so it's, I think it's pretty cool they do that. Uh, yes, yeah, same. Absolutely. It's going to be awesome. Um, so, yeah, so we have uh, September is right it's right there on the horizon of this week and uh when that ends is jugtober season everybody i mean uh we raised a thousand dollars last year actually more than a thousand we raised um it was over fourteen hundred dollars we raised uh and i was super impressed by everything last year uh raising money for hope for the day for suicide education and prevention which it's obviously a very very real issue in the world today so great stream tonight bro thank you thanks for reminding me about it oh of course of course um so i've actually been working in the background um putting together some different ideas that i have for how we're gonna have some um different incentives and milestones because the last one I had, they were kind of spaced kind of far apart. Um, we still got a good chunk of them, but I wanted to have more of them and closer together so that every little bit counts. I mean, because that's the way it really is. If you think about it with charity, every little, every little, you know, amount someone is giving, donating is going to a good cause. And I think in the same light that we should really make it so that there's more incentives to do the small amounts. So, um, one thing I can say is I'm going to have, I believe eight, I may increase it to 10 different Steam game giveaways. And all you're gonna have to do is be in the stream, watching the stream. When we hit that figure, um, we do a giveaway and it's gonna be automated Everyone that's in the chat just enters. It's going to pick a random person's name, and I'm going to send that person the Steam key. So that's a little bit of a, a little bit of a spoiler sneak peek. That's what we're going to be doing. I'd like to join the Steam code or game or something. We can chat about that. Oh, dude, that'd be fucking fantastic. It's really nice of you to uh, think like that. Um, yeah, we'll we'll definitely we'll definitely chat about it for sure. Uh, and there's definitely there's some other things in here too. Um, that I'm really looking forward to doing, um, some that I'm not, <laughs> but, uh, more to come on that. And, uh, one last piece of news before we get the raid going, uh, I actually have more hot sauces coming. So, uh, a fellow streamer buddy of mine, uh, Irish guy, he lives up in, uh, up in upstate New York. Uh, his brother has been growing peppers and making hot sauces now for... I guess the last couple of years. Um, I put it in order with him. He's, uh, I asked for, just give me one of each of the sauces you have. Like, give me one of everything. Some of them seem like on the medium side, others, uh, most of them are hot and a few of them are very hot apparently. So it's gonna be very interesting. Uh, but on top of that, um, he's sending a little bit of a bonus along with that since I was, uh, since I wanted one of everything, he goes, I wanna give him a little bit of a bonus. 
and I'm gonna wait on that to tell you what exactly that is. Once they show up, I will show you live on stream of what the bonus is and how it's gonna play into Jugtober. Uh, but that's all I got for now. So without further ado, I think it's time to see who's streaming. There are a good amount of people on. We got Max Specs is playing Hunt Showdown. Zonum's playing Destiny 2. Rope's playing his Borderlands. He's playing all the Borderlands games. Uh, Diane's playing Valorant. Oh yeah, Butt Cheek is... Um, He's streaming something from Disney World. We got Michael Excels doing Video Horror Society. Heavy's playing Destiny 2. Will is playing Valorant. And he's also, he has his charity still going on too. And he expects a date for that. I want to be there for that. For when the the bonus comes in, I don't know. It, uh, it depends when they actually ship everything. Um... I've already paid him, so I'm just waiting to see when everything comes in. But as soon as I find out, I'll, up I'll update the Discord for sure. Um, man, like... I know that we just... The last time we played... Uh, we were on stream. We played... Um, Deep Rock with Nox. And then I... Raided over to him. But it's like, it, his is the only one that makes sense today. Everyone else is playing something that's not horror oriented. So I think we're just gonna go and head over to Nox. Um, he's playing Doom Eternal. I think he's getting close to the end of the game. Just looking at it now. But yeah, let's go raid Nox. He's got a good crowd over there. So let's all hang out with him. If you have not, given Noxler a follow yet, definitely do so. Super cool dude. Um, really fucking funny. Uh, I mean, for instance, I got this little fucking gem of him recently, which uh, he just... He I have some this. kinks that I want to, like, share with you so we can, like, do these things. I'm okay, and they're like, I have a foot pet. <laughs> but yeah, that's Noxler. Nox for short. He's playing Doom Eternal. Um, I think he's actually on the last level here. He's about to get to the last boss. Um, I'm almost positive that's where he is. So, I appreciate all of you for hanging out tonight. Sorry again it was a short stream. Um, I will be back tomorrow night after D&D around 10 o'clock Eastern. Uh, so I hope you have a lovely Wednesday tomorrow. And I will catch you all, I guess, tomorrow night? Yeah. I'll see you around. Bye.